this is Peter with uh, PM Designs and in this video I want to show you how to make a digital clock or you know any kind of LED screen like this with, with you could do it with letters I guess but let's just do it with numbers um, I'm not going to take you through it step by step because it's really quite long um, but basically what I'm going to do I'm just going to show you what I did and how you could recreate it so I'm going to hide that I'm going to hide that and as you can see here, I've got first, second, third, fourth, as in first number, second number, third number, fourth number. So I'm going to hide all of those. I'm just going to show you uh, on one. So this is working with a shape key. Oh, why is that not happening? Hello? Excuse me? Oh, because I haven't clicked on the right one. Sorry. There we go. So this is all done with shape keys. So um, what I did was I made the shapes just out of planes let's get out of uh, get out of that view made the shapes just out of planes colored them red with an emission on there S strength doesn't matter because um, I'm doing it on cycles so it doesn't matter too much but if you're doing it on EV you might want to bring it up a bit and that's that's it you got to make an eight yeah just do some I'll do some thinking for you the basic the base the first shape you need is an eight okay and then I duplicated those shapes and they're all and then laid them all in front and made them slightly larger than the original red ones can I can I hide these yeah so these are just the basic shapes here yeah so if I do like that you can see what we got yeah this is what I started with and then I just duplicated those and made them slightly larger and black solid black and I made them as close as close could be if you put them forward slightly um, if you change the camera angle when looking at the clock you'll see some glow coming from behind so you don't really want that um, so then you put them this is the base basis shape key you start off like that so then when you want to do shape key one yeah let's go back into object mode you just move those ones yeah and then you have a one you want to do shape key two move those ones and obviously you can see I rotated this one because if you just slide it up it's gonna block things but yeah and that's it I just went through like that made two made three four I'll try and show you all of them just in case yeah in case you do need to hold your hand through the whole process seven eight nine and 10 is just zero yeah um, so then yeah get all those done duplicate it two three four four times I've also made the circles in the middle obviously you don't need to have those well, you could I guess maybe you could have them flashing I don't know I can't remember now if it did, does a digital clock flash like that if there's a power outage do all the things flash um, and then all you have to do when you animate the time changing just make sure that you've got it set on constant interpolation which I'll show you just down here if you're not too sure go to interpolation mode constant because you don't want to see the gradual change you want it just to flash immediately um, like that so that's just going to keep on flashing between those and then I just built the I built a solid black screen to go behind it and then I built a clock around it which has a translucent let me stop this for now um, has a translucent screen in front. Let me show you the shader for this, just in case you're not too sure. It's on cycle, so it's very sorry, not translucent, transparent. It's on cycle, so it's really easy to do transparent. You just whack the transmission up, yeah, and you get that. If I take that away, yeah, and you get that nice um, sort of frosted dotted thing by adding bringing up the roughness, and that's it, really. That's what I need to tell you, yeah. So. I'll just take those away again so you can see how it's set up. Yeah, so now this is 11.59, and then you know you could do 12, you could change it to 16, 22, whatever, just by first setting up that first one, and then set up all the shape keys, and duplicate, 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 and then just, it is a, there's probably a way you could make it a bit quicker, but um, that's how I did it. So yeah, I ho really hope you found that useful because I did look for how to make LED screens and um, no one else seemed to have a similar idea to this and I think oh it's quite I think it's quite efficient that's why I did it so yeah please drop a like if you did like that 
and um, if you want to see more short, hopefully short tutorials and helpful tips, subscribe. Thanks very much.